Greetings and salutations to everyone and welcome to the BHI Terror Watch. First of all we at the Terror Watch would like to give praises to the Lord God Almighty in the name of the Father, the Great I Am, the Am of the Son the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Jesus Christ. And in the name of the Holy Spirit the Real Comforter. And double honors to the elders, the real evangelists whether in the streets or in the church buildings preaching the Holy Gospel, evangelizing to the lost and preaching repentance and union to the body of Christ. And special greetings to my brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ who are armed warriors in the battle of faith against the unbelievers the skeptics the Islamists the sinners, the atheists and to the numerous misguided those that have the form of godly devotion but proving not true to the power. And additional greetings to the Jewish people. The ones called by his name. The chosen of God. The real authentic Jewish people. The real Jewish people that are scattered on the earth that will one day make the Aliyah to the Holy Land Israel. Shalom Allah Hayim. Yes. Welcome to the first new BHI Terror Watch of 2015 and we would like to tackle the claims made by the daddy of the one West Israelite cults the ISIS UPK yes I did not studer in speech as they are no different than the known terror group in style and substance another false group of big mouth religionists taking religion out of context to do the will of iniquity. Now ISUPK leader commanding General Yahorn Namunde on his radio show has proclaimed that racial blackness is of more importance than perceived Israelite identity. And has further cemented the triviality of that 12 tribes chart. But before we get ahead of ourselves let's let the good general speak for himself. Our race and identity is everything. That's right. Everything. And let me tell you something else. Our rebellious spirit, listen to me good, our rebellious spirit towards our race and identity is loved by the Lord and loved by the angels. You go back and read in that Bible with Esther and them, if it were not for our rebelliousness against these nations and loving our nation and race, we would have been exterminated on the face of this earth, man. How are we going to go along with the American melting when we pushed on the bottom and we required to give up all our blackness, man? Right. They'll lose the Super Bowl to make sure our niggers stay in line. Right. Well, don't right. tell me. Our race and our racism, this is what the whole world battle is about. That's right. Bitch ain't spending $2.6 billion in Africa because he's trying to feed Africans. Right. He's spending and $2.6 billion in Africa because he want to wipe out Africa. The hell we going to wake up, man? When we going to wake up and smell the coffee, man? Our race and identity is precious. Have we not served 400 years under another race? So how are you going to say let's throw race out the window? You turn on every damn cartoon. It's some white character with a bunch of animals, and he's the director and the leader and the savior of every animal. Turn on the average movie. Some white man is ahead of the team, and the team got women and bull daggers and niggers on it, but a white man running the team. You say, tell us, forget about racism, when racism and Tarzan is in every movie out there. Damn near. Right. And when I say Tarzan, for those of you that don't know, meaning a Tarzan movie, this term coined by Muhammad first. Muhammad, because I call him Tarzan movie. This is his word. Because what happened is, he starts seeing that in every movie, there's a white man that's the savior, the tough guy, the bad boy in every movie. And then we start looking at it and seeing this is no lo- no different than the old Tarzan movie where Tarzan go to the jungle and is better in the jungle than the Africans in the damn jungle. Right. He go in there and swing better than the monkeys. Go in there and lead better than the Africans. And then, of course, he end up on top and ruling. That's brainwashing, man. And he's been in Hollywood movies for the last hundred years or however long hell the movie's been out. 
And they've been pushing that garbage on us. And you telling me we should throw our race away? Right. We should become super black. And here's what make me mad. Bear with me one second. Here's what make me mad. We talk about all these incidents about uh, racial killings and, you know, and, and Michael Garden and all of them is true and right. But the one case that burned me up the most because it's the real spirit of what goes on is that case with that boy Jordan who was playing that rap music and lost his life. Remember that? That old white man, the white woman tried to calm him down. He said, I can't stand that music. And she said, I know, I know. Let me go on in the liquor store and get you something to drink. Calm his racist ass down. Because he heard nigger music. And he made him so mad, he pulled out his gun and murdered that boy. Murdered him over our culture. When have you heard of a white man dying because he liked to ski and black people kill him? When you heard of a white man dying because he liked to drive doom buggies and black people murder him? When you heard of a white man that goes skiing and black people hate to ski and so they murder him? When you heard of a white boy that play rock and roll and black people hate him and murder him. But a nigga play hip hop music and a white man hate him so much he murder him. You telling me our race and culture don't mean nothing? You better wake up, brother. We better embrace hip hop music. You don't like the gangster? No problem. Get the other kind. You don't never, after Jordan died, I ain't never giving up hip-hop music. I'll be 85 with Jared calling my ass, and I'm still going to be. Excuse me, excuse me, my friend. You ain't going to take that from us? This white man so ferocious and so evil that he hates your culture and murder you for it. And we we sitting around simple and stupid listening to them dumbass prostitute niggas. We turn around and sitting and listening to them thinking they're going to guide us into the right way when they telling us it's damn near our fault. And the poor sister I felt so sorry for, the sister that was the juror, said she didn't think racism had nothing to do with it. Meanwhile, he murdered him over his music. Over his music. And it ain't new. It's been common that white people hate that hip-hop. We seeing that uh, a lot of the brainwashing is coming through media. You know, uh, you was talking about Jordan Davis and how Jordan Davis, you know, he was killed by listening to the music, but he was listening to, uh, I think it was a Key song or it was a Lil' Reese song. Um, right. Basically, uh, uh, the drill music in Chicago, which is basically uh, uh, one gang going against another gang on wax, but they're doing it in the streets. It's like a, uh, it's like the wire. Some people would like to say, yeah. but it's, it's going on in real life. You know, that's a brainwashing tool. So I was just, uh, I just wanted but, to point that out, man. That, you know, yeah, but you got to understand. I feel like if East Coast could do it, why can't we? Right, but you but you got to understand something too. It don't matter the fact that, that that music he was listening to was gang music or anything like that. The no, the reason, no, no, the reason, right, right, the reason right. he got the reason he got killed was because it was hip hop music. Had they had it been right, gang right. music they had been playing violins, that cracker would not have killed them. If they had been if they, if right, they was playing right. if they was playing classical music saying, you know, and we shall kill the Crips tonight. You understand? <laughs> they, they, they would have not killed him, but because it right, was hip, right. because it was hip hop music, which is associated with your black culture, is why they killed him. And furthermore, let me tell you something: the gangs would be eliminated overnight if we stopped the, the ability of Esau to sell dope to our people. Like we, if we just stopped the ability of Esau to make a drug dealer a hero. Able to, uh, uh, we would stop the drugs in the community.
The general and his caller are discussing the murder of Jordan Davis, a black youth shot by a white man because Davis had played loud gangster rap music. And while we at the BHI Terror Watch do not condone the actions of Davis' killer, Jordan Davis was at a root fault because of his ungodly choice of music. And if the general is defending any form of gangster rap as being so-called precious to the black culture and paramount even over so-called black biblical identity that is the defining mark of the One West cults not just UPK then the general is at fault too. If anything the majority of gangster rap music like the music that Jordan Davis played and some of the selections that General Yahina plays on his radio show are indicative of why the black Hebrew Israelite religion is nothing more than a sham and a hardcore version of the same civil rights crap that Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson and Farah Khan champion. And moreover that coming together by the umbrella of being gangster being the way to Jesus Christ and God it is nothing more than blasphemy. The Church of 33 AD did not swerve to DMX the women of the church were not called bad bitches, as Johanna's sidekick General Mariaman likes to call his female members of the UPK the way to being the body of Christ is not by embracing so-called hip-hop culture and especially not and I repeat not embracing the gangster criminal thug branch of the hip-hop culture. That is why ISUPK is considered rightfully a laughable joke based off of one West doctrine based off of the majority African American membership that's evidenced by the lack of the other representatives i.e. Hispanics and Native Americans. Nearly missing in action from the UPK and for that matter the one West cult ranks. Partly off of Al Sharpton's corrupted view of humanity and partly off of Louis Farrakhun's logic minus the Islam. And wait, there's more. Black, black people and Hispanic people and Native Indian people are automatically tied to each other. Black, black people and Hispanic people and Native Indian people are automatically tied to each other. Black, black people and Hispanic people and Native Indian people are automatically tied to each other. No. Black people are different than Hispanics and Hispanics different from Native Americans. However let me tell you something. Black people Hispanic people and Native Indian people. And Indian people from India and Chinese people and Japanese people and Russian people and Polish people and Estonians and Romanians and Turks and Lebanese and Greeks and Italians and French and Germans and Belgians and Dutch and Spanish and Portuguese and Irish and Scottish and British. And yes the white American man you hate so. Are also tied together. What ISUPK and the other one West cults and 99% of black Hebrew Israelites fail to grasp is that we are all one big family. One nation under God one humanity under God. And that the BHI cults are in delusion because someone outside their black community has authority over them owns the businesses in their neighborhoods. Is their boss on their jobs is the business owner and not them. Is calling the tunes and not them. And those of ISUPK or One West or BHI are not happy because they know that they are living in a bubble, a black thug gangster bubble an imaginary world where Jesus is black and the blacks are the Jew. Where the only holy people are black and everyone else living in the world are the enemy with the exception of the Native American, because that black man is a 16th Native American, and the Hispanic, because Joseph Mendoza is his best friend. Really. As ludicrous as it sounds this is the mindset of leaders of the racial identity movements like John General Yahana Lightborn and his Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, now so proud of his heritage of being from One West that he calls his website now One West One West One West dot org. Well if we haven't told you before and that other haven't told you before this is another reason why the One West doctrine is false. From the twelve tribes signed to the order of the tribes to the thugness is above godliness doctrine championed by the ex con con men of the ISUPK and their cohorts along the One West Highway. From GMS to Nathaniel 7 and IUIC and we got next and GOCC and others.